going to Hershey Park today. It's going to be a cold one. I need to prepare by bringing two pairs of smart wool socks. One for not so cold. And then if it gets colder, I'm going to have to switch it up. Go to the go to this warmer pair. Look at that. It's smart wool. Smart wool. Are you ready to go for a walk? A what? What are we doing? have the privilege of telling you the story of one of the most remarkable men in American history, Milton S. Hershey. But the guy that's actually taking us on the tour is our motorman, Jim. So everybody say hi to Jim. Hi, Jim. This trolley. Yeah, it's a replica. But it is a replica of the kind of trolleys that used to service downtown Hershey and the surrounding countryside in the early 1900s. Back in those days, we did have over 35 miles of trolley track. But today they come out of high-speed conveyor belts, single file, so the computers can kick off defects. Then they come out at a combined rate of 810 kisses per second. Yeah, 70 million kisses every day. And if you're having a hard time trying to imagine what would 70 million kisses look like, try to think of it as a single file line, and that line would have to be 966 miles long. We go from here to Orlando, Florida, all the way to Disney World every day. That's not the only thing we make here. That's where we make Hershey bars, Hershey syrup, Rolo candy, and those little miniatures are made here. Chocolate, rich man's candy in the 1880s. Not very well known in the States yet. It was made in Europe. Well, did you know we have more than one chocolate factory in this town? Yep. The second one's coming up on the right. And a lot of our guests seem to think it's kind of interesting that the very next door neighbor this is the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Factory. We make 25 million peanut butter cups here every day. Put up a big stage, entertainment comes and plays the night for free. And at the stroke of midnight, we raise a 400 pound kiss. But everybody has a great time. We set off an enormous amount of fireworks. Flynn, because just like the ones that are wrapped, the police will probably foil the fact. <laughs> There's no formal town of Hershey. There never has been. Since 1729, this has always been the municipality of Derry Township. When the town was built in 1900, the Postal Service said, what's the name of your post office going to be? There's a little post office, the only place in town that Hershey actually exists. Hershey Stories on your left, that's our town museum. A lot of interesting artifacts in there, a pretty good compliment to the trolley ride. Here's the town square, this is where we hold the New Year's party. Well, we're turning on the Cocoa Avenue. And that beautiful building across the street was the town's first community center. Broadway shows, really big acts come here on a regular basis, year-round. 
you see a pale blue house and it has burgundy shutters and it's important because that's where the peanut butter cup was invented i'll tell you more about that later as for those homes in town or there were a lot of company towns around the country in those days operated by people who made double profit off their employees profit off their labor and then expensive rent for housing milton did not like that idea at all he didn't think it was fair so on their streets he built hundreds of homes and then he sold them to his employees at cost he just added up the material and the labor that's all he ever charged them i should be approaching 2000 by now i'm pretty sure yeah i've been doing it for about five years a couple times i have the best part-time job in the world though i mean i yeah, unlike my engineering job that i retired from when i wake up now i go oh boy i get to go to work today yeah. Yeah. this is the uh the old power plant smokestacks that produced all the steam some of the electricity back in those days almost four billion candy bars for distribution to allied troops all over the world during world war ii a lot of them were called tropical bars, famous for not melting in the heat in the South Pacific, and a lot of them were called D-rations. And on occasion, we still have veterans ask us, why did that darn D-ration have to taste so bad? Let's see if we can get through this traffic light. Over the next 10 years, he spent millions of that sugar money on a construction campaign specifically designed to keep the people of this town employed. Even Milton Hershey thought they were good, but he didn't feel threatened by them because he honestly did not think they would sell. Big mistake. Important behind, especially your kids. We got lots of those. I, I do mean cell phones, purses, sunglasses, those kind of things. Okay. Thank you. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. Take care now. Thanks. Thank you so much. You're quite welcome. Have a good Bye -bye. one. Cool. Christmas time at Hershey. We're doing it. What kind of candy bar am I going to create today? I'm all set.
Come on. Oh, that was kind of lame. Baby Broadway Jesus. This park is really pretty at night during Christmas time. There's just lights everywhere. back for all the Christmas lights. There's just too many. I just came in the park for these donuts only. That's it. No ride. Just donuts. This is it. This is all I came in for. I don't think the Grinch is supposed to hug like that. Alright, let's check out what I made. Kenny's chocolate bar. Was this worth it? No. Here it is. Here's a chocolate bar that I didn't really make. I just pushed some buttons and the machine made it for me. It's a solid boy, that's for sure. I don't even really remember what I put in here. Like, I think it was like white chocolate, toffee bits, and more chocolate, and then sprinkles. Cool. Yep. There it is. You can see the white chocolate. I mean, it's a good chocolate bar. I would not recommend doing this. It was kind of a letdown. Hershey, you let me down. Not Milton Hershey. He seemed like a pretty cool dude. He seemed like he was all about helping out kids and his workers. 
create your own candy bar, kind of.